Researchers have been working hard to try and reverse a problem that has been plaguing Florida's citrus industry for years. Now they may have had a major breakthrough that could show great promise. News Channel 8's Josh Thomas joins us now live in Lakeland. Josh? Good evening, Jen. Well, this orange grove is one of many that dot the landscape here in Central Florida. But the owners of groves like this one have been fighting a disease that has had a devastating effect on their livelihood as well as their industry. Citrus growers across Florida have been fighting a disease that's been killing their trees for years. It's called citrus greening, and it's had a devastating effect here in Florida. But now scientists are using lasers to inject the leaves with antibiotics, which has proven better than just spraying the trees with insecticides. You're not going to see this in any other agricultural enterprise. Uh, we're making headway, and ultimately we're going to have a stable system followed by replanting that will restore this industry. Citrus growers hope to be able to use the new technology as soon as this March. Larry Black is a fifth generation citrus grower and can't wait to use it on his crops. There's no silver bullet, but this is a, this is an important uh, a turning point for the industry to have these bactericides and the potential for more efficient delivery of those bactericides into the plant. Millions of citrus trees have been killed by the disease, and it could end up reducing Florida's citrus production to its lowest level in years. That's why Florida Senator Bill Nelson secured $125 million in federal dollars over five years to fight the citrus greening. Now you have a chance to turn around the entire Florida citrus industry so that we can increase production instead of the production constantly going down. Fighting citrus greening with state-of-the-art technology is a top priority for an industry that doesn't want to become extinct. Now, to give you an idea of why this is so important to citrus growers, the industry expects to produce 69 million boxes of produce this year alone. But when you compare it to just 10 years ago, it was 240 million. So you can see that for them, time is of the essence. Jen? Yeah, it's been a huge deal for the growers out there who suddenly find that their property is worth more for development than it is for growing oranges, and it's an ongoing battle against disease. But it seems on one hand, this is a no-brainer. If it's promising, let's do it. But could there be some delays in getting it going? Well, they're going to try and get it moving as fast as possible. The technology does require it for that pesticide to be approved not only by the EPA, but also by the USDA. But Senator Nelson says he's going to do what he can to try and speed up that process to get it approved up there in Washington. There's always some bureaucratic red tape. Josh Thomas, live in Lakeland for us tonight. Thank you, Josh.